for an end of the year treat. So tonight, which is the summer solstice, the two biggest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, will align, causing them to appear close together in the night sky. So uh, they will look like they're only about a fifth of a, di a diameter of a full moon apart, according to uh, Dr. Daniel Kunama, who is a science engagement astronomer at uh, the South African uh, Astronomical Observatory, uh, who was quoted in the Sunday Times recently. But Professor Lerotor Leo joins me now. He's an astrophysicist at the University of Cape Town and he joins me now. Prof, a very good evening to you. Thanks indeed for your time. This is so interesting. So if I leave the studio now and I go outside, where do I look? Will I be able to see, uh, you know, the spectacular, I, I guess, you know, phenomenon or, or where do I look if I go outside? Is it there? Hi, Crystal. Yes. So if you're in an area um, that has um, clear skies, so clear from uh, clouds, okay. um, where you want to look is um, in the uh, southwest. And um, that is uh, an area of the sky where the sun would have set. Um, mm. So uh, Earth, as uh, Earth is turning away uh, from the sun, uh, Earth turns uh, and then, you know, um, um, we then get a view uh, of um, these two um, planets that are in uh, conjunction and that view will be in the same area um, where the sun yeah. would have set. So I understand this is this is quite spectacular. Uh, the last time that Earth had such a good view of this was in 1623, I understand. Yes. Wow. So this um, phenomena um, happens, um, uh, you know, where the separation is so small, happens every 400 years. Wow. And um, the... 400 years ago, these two uh, planets um, came close together, a little, a little bit uh, closer to the sun. So then it wasn't so uh, easy to, uh, to see them so close together, uh, just with your uh, you know, natural unaided eye. Mm -hmm. um, however, 800 years ago, so the 400 before you know, the, the last one, yeah. the phenomena actually happened, um, you know, uh, the the two planets were closer uh, together, further away from the sun, mm -hmm. so that you could actually uh, view the phenomena uh, at night time, similar to now. Um, so it was actually eight hundred years ago um, mm -hmm. when it was like you know a, a brilliant um, an, a, a opportunity to to see the phenomena. So do you know for how long we'll be able to watch? Uh, uh, this uh, spectacular phenomenon, uh, as you know, as you, as, as you outline how important this is, uh, for how much longer will we will we be able to see this? And is this of particular significance uh, astronomically? If I can, yes. So maybe let me first just say um, why these planets align, yes. and then um, build, yes, okay. Um, so these uh, planets align um, in the sky um, because. Um, and we call this a conju uh, you know, um, a, a conjugation that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and um, they, they align like this because the planets like us uh, here on Earth go around the sun. We go around the sun um, and that uh, takes us uh, one year. Um, Jupiter mm. um, is, uh, uh, its orbit is a little bit bigger than ours mm. and it takes, um, 11 years, 11.9 uh, years, or let's just say 12 years. It yeah. takes 12 years to go around uh, the sun. Um, Saturn, on the other hand, has even a bigger orbit. Okay. And it takes uh, about 30 years uh, to go around uh, the sun. So um, what happens is that every 20 years, um, Jupiter, the one that um, has a, a smaller orbit, catches up um, with um, Saturn. And when uh, it catches up, then um, the planets align. So every 20 years they align. And you can think of that as like runners uh, around a track. Um, the one in, um, on the inside uh, track catches up with the one on the outside. Mm -hmm. And that's what these uh, planets are doing when they orbit. So they catch up like that every uh, you know uh, 20 years and align. Mm -hmm. However, um, 
every 20 years, the alignment or, uh, isn't as good as now. They are not as close uh, on the sky. They are only about uh, what we say uh, one degree, and that's like about two la- um, diameters of the moon. Okay. But, um, but every 400 years, then um, they align so that they are only um, a tenth of uh, a degree and uh, um, uh, apart. Uh, and then that's, um, you know, that's uh, uh, similar to tonight and this spe- spectacular view. Now, um, tonight is the big night where, you know, the planets have, uh, uh, you know, they've caught up and they are, uh, 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 you know, aligned with very, very uh, small um, separation. Mm-hmm. But before tonight, like last night mm-hmm. and the day after, what the planets were doing were they were still like going around and catching up. Oh. So um, they were close, but not as close as tonight. Right. You know, they were not fully caught up. And then after tonight, they will, the movement will keep going so that they will start to separate. Um, so after tonight, you know, they will start to separate and you will start to see them sep- separate, you know, uh, on the sky. And people can continue watching them, you know, through Christmas, through New Year as they separate. Um, and uh, so, so as the days a, go know, on, Prof, as the days go on, uh, they will separate again, that they'll just continue to separate until we can't see them anymore. Um, yes, so they start to uh, separate, and then uh, I mean, they they will be at uh, you know in other parts of the sky. Oh. Um, so uh, um, you know, uh, for example, uh, you know, you might get one going behind the sun, and then we won't be able to uh, see it again because right. the sun will be uh, obscuring the view. And uh, and and indeed, yes. Yeah, so a few days uh, down the line, they will not uh, be available. Um, and I think I think uh, it's it's worthwhile uh, to point out that you know just like I was describing these planets going around the track mm-hmm. and you know they come together you know tonight and we are able to see this. Um, what is really happening in, you know and available for all our eyes to see is these uh, planets in the solar system you know going around the track uh, like this. Yeah. So. You know, we are really seeing the solar system in action. Mm. Um, you know, as we learned in primary school, we are really, really seeing nature with our own eyes do this. Mm. And it's phenomenal that, you know, this movement is happening. It happens due to gravity. And we believe it has been happening this way since these planets formed. Mm. Um, uh, they, we, all, we believe they formed uh, th- through a collapse of gas right. uh, that formed the, uh, the sun and then the rest of the planets um, formed from, from, from the remaining gas. Yes. And it's really just phenomenal that uh, even up to d- today, we can see you know, this nature revealing uh, itself like yes. this in front of us. That's truly fascinating. Uh, I can't wait to go outside and have a look uh, myself as soon as I'm done here just to get a glimpse of that. It certainly is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see that. Thank you so much, uh, Prof, for for breaking down all the science for us and making us understand why this is all so significant uh, and and really is important and fascinating for us to watch. Thanks indeed for your time. Uh, Astrophysicist uh, Professor Lira Tordi Leo, thanks indeed for your time here on The Full View. So uh, coming up after.